something that you've never done Always believing you can achieve it Get out there, live and breathe it so Raising the bar higher each day Continue to climb, you've got something to say It's your time to shine The Rock and Roll Psychic Radio Show with your host, Andrew Brewer. Welcome back, everybody, to Rock and Roll Psychic Radio. Once again, this is Andrew Brewer here with my lovely, vivacious co-host, co-hostess, I don't know which is really the proper term, I never know, uh, the host. Did you have fun the first hour? Isn't Ingrid just I, rocking awesome? I mean, I, truly. I really, I really got into that that segment because it, w- everything she said was absolutely spot on, and going from experience and and not having the coach, such as herself, guiding me through the process. If I think I would have had her, I would have gone through the process a lot quicker, um, because so much of it is is self esteem, having the confidence, and really thinking outside the box. And being able to take criticism and to open your mind to other possibilities. To me, that was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal the way she, she approached that. Very good. Yeah, I, I, it's funny. You know, on Facebook, you connect with people. You don't even know how you end up with them, right? But, uh, but I noticed her. And, like, she would light up to me. You know, like I say, sometimes people, their photos light up to me. I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean that literally. It's like right. it's like somehow when I look at them, it's like there's a backlight. I go, so if I see someone's picture and it constantly has this little glow to it, eventually I catch on that this person's significant. You know, there's right. something about them. Right. And, and I kept seeing her, and I go, you know, I need to find a way. I need to find a way that I can talk to this woman. I need to, you know, I need to introduce myself. I need to figure out. So I would just, you know, like, whatever. I just try to kind of ingratiate myself to her. But I like her a lot. I like her a lot. She has a really, there's something about her energy I really, really enjoy. And, uh, again, we're talking, if you just join us for the second hour, we're talking about our guest in hour one. Her name is Ingrid Elfer. She is a celebrity branding expert. And she's rocking. I love her. She's beautiful. She's fabulous. She has she has a very successful marriage. She's been married, I think, 14 years. And she and her husband work together. I mean, that in and of itself is amazing right there. So, um, so bornsolebrity.com. So, for this hour, we were going to have a guest, her name. A really close friend of mine, Trisha Venker, and Trisha Venker is fabulous. And Trisha, if you're listening, I do love you. And uh, uh, Trisha's husband, Tom, who's an amazing guy, handsome, uh, charismatic guy, fabulous guy. Uh, his grand, uh, I believe his grandmother died, and she lives in Germany. And Tom's family is German, and so he, he is in Germany. And Trisha is there with Tristan, her son. And so she's unable to join us. And, and Trisha is a close friend of mine. We've done radio shows many times together. 
And um, the way that I met Trisha, I'll tell the story real quickly and then we'll, then we'll move on, uh, was through Tara Sutton, my friend, and, mm-hmm. and Tara was just with us a few weeks ago. Tara and I have done uh, 10 million radio shows together. And she was on Tara's radio show. And Tara said, you gotta, you got to check this woman out. All right. So Trisha had written this book called Internet Dates from Hell. And Trisha, beautiful. I mean, she was like an amazing blonde goddess, you know, woman. And she was an elementary school teacher in New York. And she went on, like, I think Match.com or something like that. And she, I forget how many thousands, <laughs> thousands of people trying to connect with her. She went all over the world and people were flying all over. She wrote this book, right, called Internet Dates from Hell. And um, so... But Tricia is very much in alignment with a lot of the things that Ingrid talks about. And so that's why I thought that they would make a really interesting, you know, kind of combo. Again, two beautiful, powerful, charismatic, magical women and us. So, you know, I thought we'd balance that. You know, we have, like, uh, you know, they made sense to me. So... So Tricia and Tom and Tristan, my thoughts are with all of you, and I will be seeing you again later. So, so since Tricia couldn't join us, I thought, you know, I could try and get another guest, and I thought, no, I, mean, I just want to—I want to be the guest, right? I want to be the guest. And I was just on Scott's show last week. I got to mm-hmm. be the guest with Scott Hare, the other, you know, vivacious, uh, attractive one on the, on the AZ Radio <laughs> Network. Family. Sometimes and, he's not um, so vivacious, though. I know him better than you do. <laughs> yeah, but he's he embodies vivacious. Too. Yeah, he does. I I just can't think of him any other way. So um, next week, I have a really fun thing I think for next week, and I want to talk about next week before I get going. Normally, I don't talk too much about next week, but I'm actually really excited because the same logic applies that applies with Ingrid, only in a different way. <clears throat> a few months ago, because reincarnation is kind of one of my things, let's, let's be honest. I'm like reincarnation crazy. I'm focused on it, talk about it, worked on it for 35 years, over 35 years, I've written books about it. I'm sort of like, it's part of my thing. Right? Mm-hmm. So I'm on YouTube or someplace looking for videos on reincarnation. And I see a video for this show. I don't know if you're aware of the show. I kept, people kept telling me about it all the time. Called Ghost Inside My Child. Did you ever see any of those shows? I have. You know what I'm talking about? I have, yes. And I, and I actually know one of the people. Who do you know? Nick Lenz. Who? Nick Lenz. Oh, okay. Yeah, but Nick, yeah. I bet you said... I thought you said my friend. I go, well, who's your friend? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, no, no, Nick. Nick, Nick Lenz. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, I was serious with Ingrid. I've already lost that. It's already slipped away from me because I loved her. I really wanted to, you know. So I've already gone back to my, you know, true personality here. Um, so I, I'm, watching this ra- I'm watching this radio show. Yeah, okay, Andy. <laughs> I'm watching this video, this TV show, and... I watched two of them, and there was like a bunch of them, but I picked two of them. I watched the very first one because I wanted to see the very first one to see how it was done. And then I went through a bunch, and this one sort of again lit up with me. And I watched it, and in the second half, they had this young girl, and turns out that she believes she's a reincarnation of an actress. And I watched her, and I go, hell yeah. You know, I watched her, and it gave me, like, you know, like, goosebumps. That's how much, when I saw who she thought she was, and looked at her and looked at the other one, I go, oh, my God, yeah, no doubt. So, and they live, I think they live in Minneapolis. They live really close to you. So, her name is Amy Pierce. Oh, sure. And yeah. Amy, do you know Amy? I don't know her personally, but I know the name, yeah. And her mother is a psychic. Her name's Teresa Pierce. Yep. So Amy and Teresa will be our guests in the first hour next week. And I reached out to them. I said, hey, 
I also am interested in past lives, and I have this thing. I think I was a reincarnated actress, you know, from sort of the same period in high. And um, so, so we're going to have them next week. Now, I want to give you a little background about Amy and her mom and the, their story, because I think it really is fascinating. Mm-hmm. Amy believes and had memories of being a young actress and uh, I believe her name was Lucille Rickson. And Lucille Rickson was a young actress. And Amy's like a teenager, I think. And beautiful. Oh, my God, she's like so pretty. And Lucille Rickson was a teenager. But back then, she was like now in Hollywood. You take a 23-year-old to play a 14-year-old. Back then, it was sort of the other way around. You had a 14-year-old that was playing much older. Right. So she was a teenager as sort of an ingenue and, and it's one sense like a sex symbol as a teenager and didn't live very long. She died when she was very young, right? So I watched Amy and I watched Lucille Rickson and I looked at them and I just got, whoa, this, I believe. So, so we're going to have, and I've never talked to them. I only just confirmed this like about 15 minutes before our show this evening. So that's going to be fun. So that'll be next week. But to me, reincarnation is kind of my driving mechanism. So what I thought I would do is sort of flip the switch a little bit and let you ask me if you have questions or if there are questions in the chat room or things pop in your head or people call in letting you ask me questions, and I would sort of answer them. And then you and I can just have kind of a conversation about anything in the psychic world. I mean, you've been around this world. You know, it's not like it's new to you. I've been a guest on your radio show, so it's not right. like it should right. be that big of you know, a stretch for us. But I wanted to have an opportunity to really talk about reincarnation and psychic development, especially in the context of having Amy and her mom, Teresa, come on next week, I thought. And this is all sort of like it all ties together. So, I'm the guest, and now you're the host, and I'm going to let you point whatever direction you want. Because you, uh, you, the other thing, Zita, I love you, because you, you just have to sit here, you know, because I'm too stupid to run the knobs and don't know how to do anything. <laughs> and so you have to babysit me, which is kind of true. And you don't really get a chance to do much. So I wanted you to have a chance also to kind of be in your zenithness and <laughs> my zenith zone. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. you need to get a chance to talk more. And yeah. you know, I always try to find ways to kind of include you. Like the first hour, I knew you were going to be talking. The second hour, I didn't even notice you. I just said, oh, "Yeah, so you don't get plenty of time in hour number two. That's all good. But. Uh, but I always want to kind of get you in the loop a little bit. So so now you're front and center. It's your radio show, and I'm simply here to serve you. So whatever you want to do is good with me. Well, let's see. What, what I first want, to, first want to ask you, and, and just because we have some listeners in the chat room who, and, and out there who may not know what your initial experience is or was to get you involved in past lives. You've actually had a past life experience of your own that you have been able to. Oh, I have a lot. Yeah. I I have a lot. And and mine happened to be very young. I mean, I actually was, you know, like you see those things like the little boys remember there were five or pilots when there were two. I was like that too. I remembered, you know, those things as a, as a young boy, I used to draw off, uniforms on me and my photos and I was very conscious of being a soldier as a young boy like my mom had um, you know she would get like good housekeeping and red book and those magazines and in the back they would have ads for military schools I would look at those ads for military schools like it was like the most exciting amazing like usually like if it was funny because I had a friends, a friend of mine in high school, his brother was sent to military school as punishment. I thought, punishment? This is Nirvana. This man is, you know. So I, 
So it was in my head that that's what little boys did. They went to military school. Right. So this 